Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens are certainly not seeing eye to eye. There's a ton of talk on whether or not Lamar should have played on his knee when he had a sprained PCL and it has everybody wondering, will Lamar be back with the Ravens in 2023? Well, nobody knows how this is going to play out, but there's one team that nobody's talking about that needs to be kept an eye on and I'll explain why and you're going to have to watch the entire video. Before we get started, if you can please click that subscribe button as it'll help us grow our newer channel and also hit that bell icon so you can get updated every time we put out a new video. The Ravens put together an amazing effort in their wildcard matchup with the Bengals before ultimately falling short. While Tyler Huntley played great, all the talk was about Lamar Jackson. All you hear on radio talk shows are guys like Michael Vick saying Lamar should have played. He figures they, they don't want to play him, so. But like Coach said, like you just said, it's the playoffs, man. You three, yeah. game, you three yeah. games away. Put a brace on it. And then on the other side, you heard Lamar's teammates sticking up for him, saying that he was really hurt bad and really wanted to be out there. You know, with, with Lamar being out, you know, obviously he's, he's, he's a great quarterback, but you know, uh, a 50, 60% Lamar Jackson, I just don't think he really was healthy enough to really go out there. But the real news came out a few days before the game where Lamar Jackson put out a statement on Twitter. It said, quote, Thank you everybody for your support and concerns regarding my injuries. I want to give you all an update as I am in the recovery process. I've suffered a PCL grade 2 sprain on the borderline of a strain 3. There is still inflammation surrounding my knee and my knee remains unstable. I'm still in good spirits as I continue my treatments on the road to recovery. I wish I could be out there with my guys more than anything, but I can't give 100% of myself to my guys and fans. I'm still hopeful we still have a chance." End quote. And also, let's not forget, he also did put two purple heart emojis after it. But it was kind of weird that he put out a statement regarding his health in a sense that players don't typically do that. A team would never want the quarterback commenting on their status for a game, especially before a playoff game. I mean, even if he wasn't going to play, you want to keep the Bengals guessing and preparing for Lamar and without him. Imagine Lamar being a Patriot doing that with Bill Belichick. And full disclosure, no, that's not the team I think he's going to. But this whole back and forth about his knee has just been odd. Reports were was that he was going to miss four weeks, and he went on to miss six. And I do understand what Lamar is doing because he wants to take back his own narrative. There was speculation throughout the media that he was going to sit the game because he was unhappy with his contract status. This was Lamar's way of saying that he's really just hurt and runs the risk of hurting it even further. But now the question is, does this contract standoff continue? I think it will, at least until the draft. The Ravens aren't going to let him just walk and they will likely give him the franchise tag. He's on an expiring contract. The Ravens would be expected to use their franchise tag on him. They're not going to let Lamar Jackson just walk out the door. But Lamar bet on himself and he kind of lost. He wants that Deshaun Watson contract and the Ravens, especially after this year, are not going to give it to him. They will pay him market value. They're just not going to give him the guaranteed money that Watson got. It's all going to come down to Lamar's pride. There's a solid chance that nobody's going to give him that kind of guaranteed money. But will he have his feelings hurt that the Ravens had a chance to give it to him and didn't? I believe it's because of that he's going to want to go to another team and start fresh whether or not he gets the guaranteed money. But the question is, which team? In a previous video, I suggested to keep an eye on the Dolphins, and I think that still is an option. However, after seeing things unfold, I think they're going to stick with Tua, and they probably won't have the cap space for Lamar either. I think Lamar is going to go a little bit further north and end up in Atlanta as a new face of the Falcons. The New Orleans Saints is a great fit too. They have one of the more talented rosters in the league, but not a top tier quarterback. Jameis Winston didn't pan out, and Andy Dalton, well, he's Andy Dalton. The problem is that the Saints are in more debt than the entire GDP, and some of their core players, if they wind up cutting them, they have ridiculous dead cap numbers. The Commanders are another team that he'd thrive in. They only have $7 million in cap space as of now, but they can cut the cord on the failed Carson Wentz experiment, free and clear, as well as move on from a few other overpriced players, and have plenty of cap space to sign Lamar. The problem is that Washington is right around the corner from Baltimore. I don't think the Ravens are going to want to keep the beloved figure in the community close to home for the same fans to love him. I think it is a business decision and he will not become a Washington commander. That leaves us with the Falcons. The Falcons were very much in the mix up until the end for Deshaun Watson. They're stuck in football purgatory right now with a decent young roster and no quarterback. To make matters worse, they have the 8th pick in the draft, which is likely not going to be good enough to get one of the top quarterbacks in this draft. They're going to have to trade up, and if they want one of those guys, basically they can get Lamar for the same as it would be to trade up to get one of those guys. So why not go for the proven commodity, the guy that won the MVP before? Atlanta sits in number 3 in terms of cap space with $56 million. I think Lamar will get tagged leading up to the draft and you'll see a massive trade and a massive contract with the Falcons.
Sorry, Dolphin fans. Don't be shocked if he also comes back to Baltimore as he may come back down to earth and realize that nobody's going to give him that guaranteed contract. What do you think? Do you think Lamar Jackson will end up on the Falcons? If not, leave me a comment and tell me where you think he's going, if anywhere. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.